Oi, oi, oi. Discovery is being investigated in a community east of Seattle. Someone came across a lengthy trail of extremely large footprints. Now, a Sasquatch investigator is looking into the matter, which has also piqued the interest of a renowned researcher here on the island. CTV's Gord Kerbis reports. There's four feet right there. An investigator measures an unusual series of footprints left in the snow in Washington state. A cast is taken and failed attempts are made to replicate the four to six foot strides required to leave the trail. He took time off work, photographed them, filmed them, actually followed the trail in the snow to where the Sasquatch apparently <clears throat> stepped onto some ground soft enough for him to make a, a partial cast. John Bindernagel is talking about the efforts undertaken by a fellow Sasquatch researcher. Bindernagel himself is a wildlife biologist who has documented evidence he says is left by the legendary creature. The eyewitness descriptions, eyewitness drawings, tracks and track photographs and track casts, very important to me, very compelling. Those casts are included in presentations Bindernagel gives to the public in various locations. He'll be giving one tonight in Cumberland. I don't know who's in the audience, and I, I, I assume that there's a lot of skeptics and some agnostics, you know. I also know that there are people very resistant. He will also be playing samples of the latest area of research he's been getting into, vocalizations he believes are made by Bigfoot, like ones recorded in Alert Bay. This was a woman collecting on her cell phone in, in her bedroom, from her bedroom window. I mean, very much to her credit, these were happening from sort of midnight to 5 a.m., a lot of it. They would wake her up. The recordings in Alert Bay match vocalizations in other parts of Canada. And while many dismiss them as dogs, bears, or moose calls, Bindernagel maintains visually analyzing them on computer discounts those. Believers and non-believers will be able to find out more about the intriguing mystery tonight at his speech or can go to sasquatchbiologist.org. Gord Kerbis, CTV News.